to kick away Wanye Thomas set deep. Fields it at about the three. And on the go, it is Gibbs. The aforementioned Jagir, Jameer Gibbs, who we said should see significant playing time. 23 yard kickoff return. So prime position for Jeff Sims. And here he goes straight ahead inside the 10. First and goal as Sims takes it ahead, finally met by Richie Grant. You're going to see two teams that really like to use tempo. I love first play. Sims into the end zone. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. Gabriel takes it himself for the conversion. Play action on first down. Gabriel with plenty of time taking a shot downfield and into the hands of Nixon. Big play, Knights. Gabriel on the slant, and that is a touchdown into the hands of Trey Nixon. after he set it all up with the 49-yarder. Man, just a great job there with the call, man coverage. They're down in five now. Sims gonna dump it out of the backfield and Jamias Griffin, here he goes. And it'll be first and goal again for the Yellow Jackets. Finally run down by Aaron Robinson was Griffin. In goal, there is Coco, top two tight ends out. Sims, ball came out. And UCF recovers. Big play by Seliscar. John Seliscar, the freshman defensive end with the fumble recovery. Gabriel chased back, twist turns, and taken down at the six yard line. That was Charlie Thomas with the sack. Until Jude Kelly hit the 32 yard game winning field goal. 27 yarder is blocked. So now four times in two weeks, Jude Kelly has had a kick blocked. Third and six. Gabriel. And the lefty gets it over to Jalen Robinson, who makes an exceptional effort right on the sideline. The young receivers, if you can learn to do that with your quarterback, you'll catch a million passes. Quick game now in use, and it's Robinson again. Third and short to third and six. Gabriel looks to the end zone. Touchdown, Marlon Williams. Man, this is such a long throw, but it gets there, and Marlon Williams does a great job of adjusting his body. going to be down here on October 17th. Ball's out there. And then tackled for a loss. That was Charlie Thomas who has been active in the UCF backfield. Velocity. Third and six, empty look. Gabriel looking to run it himself. And he finds a seam and crosses midfield. Dylan Gabriel, the do-it-all for UCF. They are right outside the red zone, knocking on the door. And 12, McCray catches a seam into the end zone. Greg McCray busted right through Derek Allen. And UCF, the offense is revving. You know, I'm out there in Vegas earlier this year and calling all the fight. Watch that thing. Rise up from the ground. They're going to have a football palace there in the desert. Downfield shot, and it is complete. And once again, it's Jalen Robinson. Why not? By Robinson. Back to business for Dylan Gabriel. Quarterback design run well blocked, and another first down. And then the ball comes out, and Georgia Tech comes up with it. That was Shoal on the recovery. 
Probably five or six throws. I'd take a shot over the top. Bat it down, and it's intercepted. Seliscar right into his hands. A fumble recovery earlier, and now an interception for Seliscar. Championship trophy presented by Dr. Pepper. UCF to the end zone, and strike it again. Trey Nixon. Wide receiver. Press coverage, no help over the top. That's automatic green light, strike up the fight song if mm. you're a quarterback. Milani, Hawaii is where he comes from. Sims, after the interception moments ago, he's going to tuck and run here. Oh, and he takes a huge hit from Richie Grant. And the flag comes in. Got to keep that schedule intact. Here they are in third and goal. Sims with time and with the score is Gibbs. They had to have that. Absolutely had to have it. Got some confidence, moved in the pocket nicely on that drive, ran in the open field, threw the ball very accurately. A big score. But moments ago, a stop and a turnover on downs. Ball comes loose there, but fortunately Griffin was right on top of it. Now they're saying there's a fight for it, and Charlton claims it's going to be the Knights' ball. Let's see. I think it might be. Boy, this could be costly. And it is UCF. Gets the fumble recovery. Works so hard to get off the field. And now a first down for Gabriel. And it's intercepted. That was Juan Ye Thomas. So back and forth we go. Third down and six. And it's going to be a first down. And Marlon Williams out past midfield. It's up there. Dante Smith He's able to find something then keep his balance for a little extra as he gets to the 40-yard line now First down he's gonna get after it again and look at the speed and the spark and the score From Gibbs just what Georgia Tech needed Got exactly what they had to have, thanks to the freshman Gibbs. Second and ten. Gabriel with time. Wants it again, but this time he gets it to Williams. Or they might go with that zone read, that bunch formation. Look at this tempo. Lowering the shoulder, and he's in. They snapped that with 35 on the play clock. Right at you, machine gun style. Snap after snap, and right down the field they come. Play clock counting down, six and a half minutes to play. Gabriel with time. Oh, what a great effort that time from Williams. He tracked that ball, went up, got his hands over the defender, Wesley Walker, and hauled it in. Second and goal. Looking for the quick throw to the corner, and he's got it. So Williams put him in position and then gets the payoff. Excellent work, Dylan Gabriel, Marlon Williams, and that is four touchdown passes and over 400 yards for Dylan Gabriel. Just a great job. You see the inside leverage of the defender. Gabriel knows exactly where his outbreaking route is. Season to have him. Looking forward to seeing what De'Ara King can offer up in that one tonight. Sims being pressured, and oh, what an effort that time. Sims pass intercepted by number four, Stefan Zayas. Stefan Zayas, point blank. Best or third best league in college football right now. we got style points here to close out this fourth quarter, and adding on to those style points is Thompson, Bentavious Thompson. Dante Smith able to keep his balance and tries to dive ahead. Ball came out at the end there, and I believe UCF has it, and they do, and that will be closing things out as Lester jumps on it. And that'll finish things, and for UCF, their fifth straight opening season win, 
13 of their last 15, they've had a season opening win. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.